Today, I come with news that a lot of people are not going to be happy about. But I feel like it's from a very different perspective to what you guys might have. So it's no surprise that this game is a buggy piece of shit. And a lot of people said, sure, it's the amount of mods that we've thrown at it. Those may have contributed a very small amount. But besides the decapitation mod, the only straight up crashes that we've had and the only bugs that we've had have all been core based game bugs because i've seen other people get them i've seen confirmation on the steam workshop that these are basically just issues with the inherent game so here's what i'm thinking i want to give this game the best chance possible i've enjoyed playing this game it's an enjoyable game it's not worth the price tag but it's early access so you know what you're getting into realistically however i don't just want to leave it down by the wayside i want to give moon moon an epic tale worthy of song so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enable deaths from now on. And I'm going to try my hardest to keep him alive. I'm not just going to enable deaths and then throw him at the first spear wall and say, oh no, he died. I guess that's the end of the series. I want to up the stakes whilst also providing a natural end to the tale of Moon Moon. I'm not going to just abandon Warband as well. Uh, sorry, Warband. Well, that says it all really, doesn't it? Um, Bannerlord. We will come back to Bannerlord when it's a bit more fleshed out, when it's a bit more stable. Because unfortunately right now, this is the game, you know? It's going province to province, siege and things. It's not like when we first started, we had to build ourselves up to the level where we could grab the shit. This is it, you know? The only way up from here now is, is taking castles and giving it to vassals and whatever else. And that's kind of it. So, I'm going to wait until they flush the game out a little bit more. And I want the game to have the best foot forward. So, we'll wait until it's been updated a bit more stable. But that also gives us a nice way to deal with Moon. And again, to make it up to you guys, what I'll do is I'll also say, vote on whatever series you want to come after this. When it ends. Not now, when it ends. I'll say anything goes. It doesn't have to be CK, dude. It doesn't have to be Rimworld. It could be anything. The channel's already fucked this month, right? So we might as well have some fun with it while it's while, while the whole thing's going down. I'll leave that in your capable hands when the time comes. But for today, though, we are gonna we're gonna readjust the tour, the story of Moomin if I can work out how to do it somewhere. <laughs> Pretend I haven't been looking for like five minutes now. Um, I went through all of these and I couldn't find it here. Somewhere I've seen it before. The enabled death. Uh, community patch options, perhaps. No, it's definitely not community patch options. Campaign options. Regular options. <laughs> Bear with me. Oh, it was in campaign options. Right, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Enable death. Choose if heroes are able to die on the battlefield. So I assume that affects Moomin and all of our companions, too. Let's see how we go, then. Like I said, I'm not just gonna careen him into a spear wall and watch him die. If he's gonna die... If, the, if there is a battle that he is going to die, and I want it to be epic, I don't just want him to be shot off a castle wall because I'm doing some ridiculous tactic. I don't want to be down to a bug. If there's a bug, I'll fucking reload. I want if I want him to die in a legitimate way. If he dies, we might end up winning the campaign here, so don't, don't shed a tear for him yet. Okay, so yesterday, or the day before, or whenever last Moon Moon happened, uh, we had three days of consecutive Moon Moon in which it was spent mostly preparing and eventually conquesting Moon Moon's Head Doom. We're currently at war with the Blue Guys, so I think it makes logical sense to me to take the rest of the Blue Guys' territory. We're not war with anyone else, are we? Let you pan around this fucking map. There we are. Um, yeah, we're not war with anyone else besides the Blue Guys. They've only got three castles left. We've got, oh sorry, three, three villages, towns, settlements, whatever the hell they're called. We've got three as well. So we're basically neck and neck right now. I want to check the diplomacy tab and actually see how many troops they've got. Um, I mean, realistically, it's not terrible, is it? When you compare this stuff, you know, their total strength might be slightly higher than ours, but casualties inflicted, I, I mean, they've killed... Wow, that's actually kind of a surprise. We've killed double their troops, but they've still killed over a thousand of our dudes. Two successful sieges and one successful raid to them. Who gives a fuck about successful raids, huh? It's more balanced than it looks, especially when you take into account that we've got Moon fucking Moon himself on the center. So, let's kick around for a while. Let our troops heal up. Let's uh, also empty out our adventure, which apparently 8,106 out of 330. What was the last thing we did? Was it take the settlement? Because that makes a lot of sense. What do you mean we have an upgrade to the heavy executioner's axe? What? Really? 138 cut. 121. Um, Wait, it would be at the bottom, right? Uh, 133 cut. So it's lower length, but it's better handling, it's better speed, and it's better damage. Sure. Okay, yeah, we'll stick with that. The, the Northern Decorated Two-Handed Act, that's fine by me. And then we can always sell that thing if we want the extra gold, not that we really do. Right, so I'm going to spend a lot of time then doing some inventory management, because it's a complete fucking dump. We'll let our troops heal up while we're doing that. Uh, we've got our recruiters going out there as well. We'll build up our forces, and I swear to God, if the last thing... I, I, I want to take out the blue. If we take out the blue with death enabled, I consider that a victory for the campaign. 
I'd love to take the Empire, but let's let's go for our current target rather than spread ourselves too thin here. So I'm going to spend the next four years in this friggin' smithy, manually hammering out every goddamn weapon. I love that you can smelt down a wooden hammer into three wood. It makes perfect sense. You think it would at least give you three charcoal back? Anyway, um, I won't, I won't complain. I promise. Look, early access. That's the mindset I'm going into. This is a perfect game. However, it's in early access. Okay, well, let's deal with all this shit. Now, I did smelt down the executions, because we did get some more parts. So it might be worth, before we go into the next stage, the final stage of the Moon Moon campaign, whether or not we can build ourselves a better weapon than what we've got currently, right? So I'll have a look at that in a sec. Firstly, I need to spend days smelting down a bunch of fucking hardwood. Look at our collection of fancy helmets, too. Northern Lordhound, 50k. Plated Helmet, 50k. Northern Lordhound with open mail coif, 64k. I should give it to my companions. Moon Moon is never going to falter from the dog head. But I feel like our companions, now that death is enabled, should have it. Just to... I mean, realistically, I'm sure there's many people at home right now screaming at me. Please, for the love of God, take off the dog head and give him a fucking decent helmet instead. Because that's... All of the times he's been knocked out is because he's been hit in the head by something. Besides that one time where he's quite literally just ran through with a spear. Um... I mean, it does look pretty cool. And that's a lot of gems. That's a lot of gems. Maybe this is the day where Moon Moon finally, finally accepts that our doghead days are behind us. He's not just some some miscreant fighting in tournaments, hiring a bunch of men to go and raid bandits and, and getting drunk. That's not Moon Moon. Moon Moon's a lord now. We'll keep the wolf's head for old time's sake. We'll mount them in the castle. But we're missing out on so many opportunities. We're holding ourselves back because of tradition. Let's move. Let's move on with our lives. Let's move on. Oh, apparently we can still sell all of this shit anyway. Okay, I'm not planning. Oh, someone also said, comment section uh, in the last episode said that apparently you can buy, if you buy food from your cities, you can make them starve to death, which is just the stupidest fucking shit I've ever heard of in a video game. Why they would sell you their emergency food. They're literally, you're going in Moomin's bacon into people's houses, taking the bread straight off their fucking plate. You spit that butter out and give it to Moomin. It doesn't make any damn sense. Anyway, uh, so I know that now if I want to buy food, I'll go to the... I'll go to the villages and get it done instead. Right, let me go ahead and sell all this crap. I'll keep the weapons, smelt those down. But I don't think we have particularly call for 64 ragged arm wraps. How the fuck are we still this over encumbered? 7,000 over? Because of what? Oh, because we've got 627 fucking grain. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to donate that to this city then. Uh, you can enjoy that one. We'll, we'll keep like 200 for ourselves. My god, there's no wonder we were so over encumbered. Carrying around like 10 tons of fucking grain. Moo and himself is just carrying it. There we are. Okay, nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's not too bad then. Now I've got to go and hunt down anywhere that sells... Bear with a second. Oh my god, look at that mess. Now I've got to go and... Oh. Oh, right, there's a thing up there. Fucking my god. Um, I know that we didn't get the gold for it, but it doesn't matter. Consider it a donation to our own city there. I'm gonna go and find wood from somewhere, because apparently the city doesn't have it at all. Yes, hard wood for Moon. Okay. Uh, right, that'll do it. That'll do it. Classic, yeah, whatever, well, it doesn't matter too much. Now we'll take the slow walk back. Oh! Declaration of peace with Azurai. Right, so we had it last time where, the, where peace was just declared between us and those other guys because we hadn't been to war with them for a while or something like that. So I want to make sure we don't accidentally peace these guys. I suppose we could just burn down one of their cities again, right? That worked last time. Okay, let's see what weapons we can make for my man Moon. See if we can find something that exceeds this axe. I'm going to leave him with a bit of stamina here. Is there anything else we can break down for parts? No, so I'll break this all down for extra iron if we need it. Although that's going to be a problem. Right, so tier 4. We've actually got... Oh, shit, we've got two tier 5 blades now. Oh, look at that one. Okay, okay. Right. And then... What have we got in terms of pommels? We've got... The guards, I meant guards. Tier 5 guards as well. There we go. Okay. Uh, Have we got tier 5? We do. Tier 5 war sword grip. Look at the difficulty, 206 on this one. And then a tier 5 pommel. We've actually got a, a full-blown tier 5 sword. Look at that. So it's 5 of the fine steel, 4 of the masking steel. So we can't afford it. Okay. So this is the best sword we can make. What has that got? Um, swing cut damage. Nowhere near as good. I want to make it... Oh, shit. That was one-handed. My bad. Um, I want to check out what pole arms we've got. Let's go tier 4... Tier 5 pole arms. Okay. So we've got a knight head lance. Okay. Um... I don't really... I want a glaive. I don't want a fucking spear. That's boring. I would rather have a glaive. It's something we can actually swing. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go for 
200 axes? Well, I just spent 20 minutes fucking around with weapon permutations, and the best weapon that we can make is nowhere near as good as that random weapon we got from killing that one dude. So, overall, feel like this smithing skill might be a complete waste of time. Although, to be fair, there was only a couple of points in it. Because we're a legendary smith, I guess there was a chance that we could have... I guess there was a chance we could have um, got the random, you know, the, the, the small chance of crafting a, a good weapon. Or like a legendary weapon, or however the hell they phrase it. So we could have potentially done better than that anyway. Um, right, cool. What else can we sell then? I'd love to sell these helmets to you guys if you if you want them. Uh, keep, keep, keep that horse. Keep that camel. How are we still over-encumbered so much? Is it because I'm carrying this, these tons of... I guess we do have a shitload of iron. Well, let's sell some iron off then. Uh, and let's sell some crude iron. I mean, if the smelted weapons are always worse than what we can fucking find anyway, what's the point of keeping any damn iron? I borrowed some troops over at the garrison of Moomin's Poon Room, because apparently that one was quite literally overflowing, which is pretty standard for Moomin's Poon Room. So we picked up, they're all crappy recruits though, so let's not get too carried away here with another raid. Like, they were all garbage Imperial recruits. 207 crappy Imperial recruits. We go ahead and upgrade anyone we can, and we'll go ahead and recruit any prisoners we can as well, I guess, because that'd be better than nothing, right? Boom. All right. We've got Moon Moon. I wanted to run down to another city, one of our cities, to do some more trading, try and dump these helmets, get rid of them, whatever. Oh, seriously? The settlement? My, my settlement? What the? Oh, you mean like a village? Okay. Um. Oh, God, okay. Every everywhere's under attack. Fine, let's, let's go and deal with that then. Never mind. Oh, there he is. It's Van's army. 260 dudes? I thought we just smashed the whole Sturgeon army. Okay. Um. 364 versus 390. Well, should we just hang around for a while and see if they... Oh, they're actually attacking it. Okay, can we can we attack? Help the castle. Oh, you're so fucked. Oh, look at that. 430 versus 303. Let's just do it. Let's get in there. Now, you got to bear in mind, bulk of our forces, Imperial recruits. So, we've got to do some good work here while our our body bags, <laughs> while, while our, our boys stay on the vanguard there. Oh, man, that is a long ass axe. In Warband, you used to be able to swap the way you were holding axes by pressing like X. You used to be able to hold it down closer to the base, but I guess you can't do that anymore. That was really cool if you if you were on like horseback and you wanted just that bit more reach. Okay. Um, are they fighting right now? What's going on when you try and help a castle? You still have to fight them on the field. Okay, fine. Um, should we move all of our forces? Like archers. archers. Right, watch this. Archers here. Move. Infantry. Uh even move. closer. And then we're gonna stick the cavalry over there. So where we can get a vague flank. But if we can bait them over the river, we could just kill them dead while they're trying to cross over. All right, let's give it a go. I've got to be very careful. I'm not just going to rush in the way I normally would, although there are two horsemen unattended. I'll go for those, but Moon Moon's life is quite literally on the line these days. Oh, that's what we want to see. Good shit. So I'm not going to be just rushing down their entire forces like I have done previously. But one horseman. One horseman is just an average day for Moon Moon. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, he got hit so hard his entire body disappeared. What? What? <laughs> I might need to move the archers a little bit closer in hindsight. Oh, they're doing pretty good work. Come back here. Go faster, horse. Fucking forgot my horse arm, man, didn't I? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Pile on. Pile on. Pile on. Just let him wail on you, you morons. Okay, let's move the archers closer because I think that would help out a little bit. There we go. That's what I like to see. Right. Archers. Uh, on. No, no, no. Archers. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Thank you. I guess we'll just sit here and pick them apart until they actually bother to come across this fucking river then. This feels like bullying. This is so good. I mean, no, I'm not saying that... Okay. That was, a that was a bad way to phrase it. That was a bad way to phrase it. Good shit. Uh, I might move the archers a little bit further forward. Actually, no. Let's move the infantry forward. Uh, infantry! Just so they're getting their little feetsies wet, but just so the archers can shoot over the top of them. Right. You guys come forward a little tiny bit more. Not too much, though. Okay. There we go. I just want to be able to hit them. While well, we've got distance on our side here. It's working pretty goddamn well. Oh, that was another thing. Someone said turn the battle size up. Uh. Battle size, battle size, battle size. Uh. You know, we'll find it in a minute. It's probably not important right now, to be honest. <laughs> I thought I let the AI take over for a second. And all they did was move the archers into the water. Fucking phenomenal game. Uh. Are those guys fleeing? Let's deal with that. Okay. I guess we'll rush forward a little bit and kill some of the stragglers. I don't know if stragglers count to the total army size, though. Like, if we go kill those dudes running away now, will that count towards their overall retreat? Seeing as these guys, I assume, are already retreating, given that they've absolutely fucking booked it. All right, here we go. Watch this. Your time is done, old man. Oh, complete whiff. I need to, I need to get practiced again. It's been a long time since we've, since I've moon mooned. Ah, yeah, bitch. That's half his health. Got. Oh, here we are. Horseman. Whoa! Nice. Oh, that was their leader. Nice. Good shit. Good shit. Well, the right things are going. We could just sit here for the rest of the battle and be fine. Um. 
Yeah, this is this is kind of silly. Um, I wonder if we could get across the river. Not that it really help out our infantry too much, would it? Are they trying to get position closer to me? Ah, you shit. Uh, guess that answers that question. Got slightly higher position. They can hit us without hitting them. You know what? Just kill them all. Just kill them. I have confidence in my boys. I shouldn't because they're all recruits. Oh, God. That was a bad plan. You know what? We'll see how they get on. We, get, we can always help them out, right? And there's a chance we might only be knocked out rather than straight up murdered. Because that would suck if all these battles, like a decisive victory here, we lost because of my horrible impatience. Although, why break the habit of a lifetime with this channel, huh? They've got no archers. They're not firing back. I have no idea why. Okay. I guess we can keep pushing a line like this. If they've got no archers at all, they've got like one dude there chucking the occasional spear. But if they've got no archers, we can just keep pushing the line very, very slowly. Uh, go on then, move a little bit closer. Archers, following suit. Where's the cavalry? I should probably just get them following me, shouldn't I? Is that close enough to kick things off? Yeah, look, look at our... Look at the kill feed. We're just annihilating them. <laughs> Bloody horsemen, don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. Better be another noble. 33 damage. What, I hit him in the back of the head on a horse? You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> oh, fucking game. All right, that's fine. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get This is risky. This is a risky moon moon play, but his pride's on the line. Boom, that's what we're after. Okay. Are they playing? What are they doing? Oh, are they all hunting moon? They are definitely... They're definitely leaving, aren't they? Okay, okay. Uh, let's get the archers up on this hill then. Push, push the line. Push the line. Go, go, go. Archers. Archers get there. Infantry push forward. Cavalry. Get up here. Oh, we've got the hill now. This is fine. This works This works perfectly. Right, I'm going to deal with this fucking guy. You think you can stab my damn horse? Oh, I think we're... Oh, no. We're just chasing him away. Going, what the... F They're so strange. Yeah, this game is, is so weird. It really is. Okay, let's get the archers where the infantry stood right now. This is working fine. We're, we're staying ahead despite the fact that we've got nothing but really shitty recruits still, which is quite nice. Um, are they forming a... What does it say? Like their final stand? This is a terrible idea. Okay, uh, kill them dead then, boys. Just tornadoing around. We're sheep herding right now. What are they doing? Oh, this is a great tactic. Oh, this is fantastic. You keep running. Eventually, the arrows, uh, yeah, they'll, never, they'll never hit you. They'll never hit you. It's fantastic. I guess we'll um, just wait to victory. Okay, let's just go for a full-blown charge. We're going to chase them halfway across the freaking kingdom at this, right? Okay, I'm going to make it my personal job to deal with that fucking horseman right there. There you go. That'll do it. Okay. Let's just keep their troops nicely surrounded. Keep them on their toes. Hack away when it's opportune, but stay near the edge. I have a habit of charging right into the center, and that always ends up pretty badly. So we're going to try and keep a little bit of distance. There we are. That's what we're after. Yeah, we've got this. We've got this. I believe. Actually, there's still quite a lot of them, though. Keep, keep your distance. Keep your distance. It's not a race. There we go. Occasional slash, and then I think we're done. That's got to be it. Come on. Fuck off. Boar champion. More like board champion. Am I right? Good shit. We're on the highest difficulty possible, by the way, with the game now, so there's no excuse. We're on the challenge in AI, we've got the realistic damage, and my army of recruits trash these losers. Good work. Good work. Well done, everyone. It's because Moon Moon's mighty jeweled helmet kept them kept them going. One day I too could have a jeweled helmet. That's what the Japanese accuser do in prison, right? Anyway, uh <laughs> what a fucking Ah, Isvan, my friend. You are my prisoner now. I guess I gotta I can't break the habit of a lifetime, right? You know what we've gotta do, Swim. You know what we do to people who try and take my castles? Goodbye, Isvan. Nice knowing you. Yep. Okay, that's pretty good. What do we get? Sturgeon, Navy Lance, Noble Bow. No. Oh, Northern Lord Hammett. Those are pretty good, right? Who the fuck is this man? Oh, he's one of our prisoners. Those are really cool. Wow. Um, right, we'll recruit wherever we can again. There we go. Upgraded 34 troops. To say that we have that many recruits, the fact that none upgraded is probably more telling than anything else, right? So they got no experience in that for pretty good reason. Somebody was chasing around until they fucking retreated. Um, Northern Empire. Don't care about that too much. Okay. So why don't we go and start really setting up a bit more of a permanent forward front in, in Moon Moon's Head Doom. We'll sit here and then build up our forces here. Get a load of recruiters run into the Empire from here. Should be a relatively safe thing to do. Oh, they've got castle down there we could grab. And then from here, we can launch all of our attacks across. They have to come through this way, too, because I assume unless they're going to run all the way around, which I doubt the AI will do. They'd much sooner take the bridge. Uh, right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a new recruiter. Hi, recruiter. Go Empire. Uh, let's get a lot of those. Let's just get these guys bringing in troops constantly. We've got to make up for the ones that are going to be killed. I also want to recruit probably from... I didn't mean to do that. That's the last thing I want to do. Fuck off. 
Also should probably recruit from Britannia as well. And we got more than enough dollar to pay for this, right? So manage settlement. No, manage garrison. I wanted to manage fucking settlement. Get out of here. Uh, what can I do with here then? Uh, manage town. So I put a governor. I'll give them the 55,000. Yeah, it's not much really has to do here, is there? I'm going to build some buildings, I guess. Uh, yeah, have some, have some aqueducts. Um... What else have we got? B B village production. That seems pretty good. There you go. You can have one of those as well. Um, wait, so if you... I can't believe this isn't a menu that you can access from your... I bet it probably is from your kingdom, right? There's no way in the hell they're going to make you walk to all of these villages to manage them. Are they? Maybe they are. Oh, we're the Empire of Calradia. Right, people told me that yesterday. Empire of Calradia is a terrible name. How about the Empire... Okay, you know what? That's fine. Empire of... Moon. Moon. Incredible. That's that's exactly what we're after. Oh! I, I mean, I shouldn't probably say, uh, when <laughs> wife gives birth to Aldrich. Okay. Um, let's take a look. The Devourer. Uh, uh, party, party, clan, party, family, family tree. Moon Moon's family tree. There we are. We've got In Ingalpha, our daughter, and then Aldrich, our son. Very nice. Uh, you are now head engineer of the... Of the clan. Identical skills, which I feel like is a bit is a bit strange. Uh, staying at Moon Moon's Poon Room. Now, I should point out, I didn't name that after her. That's a horrible coincidence. The inventory is managed. Recruiters are sent away to go and get us some... Oh my god, look at them run. This is why I always specifically hire a ridiculous amount. Because we're not really doing much bounty hunting or anything like that. Not, not clearing out any looters, so... Let's sit here. We'll recruit support 77 troops to Groom Loon. Nice. And then we'll wait for our troops to completely heal up, and then we'll get straight back out there. And I want to start sieging immediately. But Tackle Castle. We could take this one down here as well. Oh, we can't move the bloody camera. Wherever it was, somewhere down there they had another castle. Stop conspiracy log update. People were telling me that that's not a thing. It's like not, not actually implemented yet. Oh, really? Where do these people keep coming from? Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, what? They're right here. They can't have too many troops, surely. Have we not wiped out their entire empire at this stage? 196. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Right, let's go for it. We might even be able to, at this point... Get him? There we go. We might even be able to, at this point, just be able to send troops. But I don't want to risk it in case they take us prisoner and maybe lop our head off. I don't know the AI can do that, and I'm not risking Moon Moon's life to do so. Um, you know what? We'll surrender or die. Yield or fight. We fight, then. Easy. Easiest money of my life. What a nice field. I don't think we've seen this map before. Damn, okay. Uh, I guess we'll stick to our current position, huh? Right. Footman, archers. Uh, footman, get back here. Cavalry, fuck off over there a minute. Right, I'm going to put the archers right at the top of this hill. Uh, let's drop them like there. There we are. You guys go stand there. And you guys fuck off by the tree. All three of our horsemen, incredible. We've got a lot more cavalry than us, but our archers, when they actually get into position, should be able to rip them apart, I think. Whenever you're ready, boys. What? Whenever you're... Whenever you're ready, boys. Valor killed my my Sea Raider chef. Oh, chief. Right. I was going to say, we probably haven't got much call for a chef, given that all we eat is butter and raw grain. I'll admit, in some ways, I wish I'd have stuck to the Executioner's Axe. Because I'm having a lot of difficulties getting used to the new reach on this fucking thing instead. It's a little bit more tricky to to hit, especially other horsemen with it. Oh, see, like that. I thought that would have hit him. Okay, right. Careful. Oh! Okay. I need to be a bit more careful. Bit more careful with Moon Moon's life these days. I don't think they're coming. I think we're going to have to go forward to them. Damn it. We've got a really good position here as well. Are they over the other side of the river? I'm going to have to go and scope this out a little bit. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, what the fuck are... Oh, oh, are we fighting ghosts? Who are they? Oh, there they are. I see them. Um, They're all running around that tree having a good old time. Let's see about that. Let's see about that, you shit. Right, let's bring our footman. Oh, man, they've got a really good position there because they're at the top of the hill over the other side of the damn river. Okay. Infantry. Let's put our footman here and scheme. Move. I could see that. Move. And then put our uh, put our arrows at the top here. Footman. Cavalry, Move. fuck off over there. Infantry. Yeah, if we do that and wrap them around the bottom of the hill, that might work. Uh, here you go. F6. Form a wedge. Right, and then we want to stick them like, like, like there. Move. I think it's pretty good. You know, the archer's directly behind Moon Move. Moon. F6. Together, right, and then we want to stick them like, like, like there. Move. I think it's pretty good. You know, the archer's directly behind Moon Move. Moon. Fucking Horse Archer can hit him from here? What? Oh, well, shit, we gotta get more of these boys. I thought regular archers can hit him from here as well. Oh, they can, they can hit us, apparently. I was gonna say, we'll take the, uh, 
the horses around that side, around the back of these rocks, and just go and try and force them into a charge. Somehow they've lost troops despite the fact... Oh, right, it's just their horsemen. Right, got it, got it, got it. Um, I guess we'll get in there, boys. Uh, oh, these are just our companions, aren't they? Right, crazy. Okay, get in then. No cavalry besides our companions. Strikes me as a pretty fucking terrible idea. Luck team. That looks okay. That's, that's all right. That's fine. Okay. Oh, there's a dude all the way back here. The cowardly commander himself. Goodbye. I mean, I don't like your brains. Oh, 20, 29. Come on. This fucking axe. I wish I'd have stuck with the executioner's axe instead. They had a lot more going for it. Right. Kill him dead, boys. If we can't kill him. Oh, I was going to say kill his horse. I guess that worked. Okay, fair enough. They've only got recruits. Well, that makes a lot of sense because, of course, all their troops that they've recruited are probably fresh boys. Right. So we could just run around circles hacking these guys to bits. Oh, that's fantastic news. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but there's something quite satisfying about cutting through six heads at once with this fucking axe. It's quite fun. It's quite fun. Oh, God, these poor boys. Are those mine? Oh, they're not mine. Where the hell are you guys? Go on, squad. Get him. I've sent my boys in because I figure there's no point in just having them standing there while we're doing 90% of the work. Particularly when we're the only one that matters if, survive, if we survive here. Uh... Good shit. I think that's probably the end of it already then. Fantastic. Well, this is going to be very easy then if they're only going to be able to throw recruits at us. But I guess, again, that makes sense because they haven't got any armies left to speak of. I need to make these battle sides bigger, don't I? But that all our troops come in after the fact. Although it might be working to our advantage. In fact, it does work to our advantage because it means when I go off on my little solo adventures, that we're under attack from a lot less troops. In the interest of fairness then, I'll up it right up. So the battle side is, is, is the maximum. Uh, I'm worth more alive to you than dead. That's literally untrue, because if I ransom you off, it'll be about 250 gold. But if I lop your head off and take your helmet, it's like 10 times the amount, my friend. Oh my god, there was a lot of them. How have they got any fucking nobles left? Oh, nice. Okay, let's dash back to here. Hang on, let's go ahead and kill the lords, just in case they escape. Uh, goodbye, my friend. It was a lot shorter than I expected. I think that was actually a child that we just executed there. Uh, Fernhard, goodbye. And then Valor... I'll take your helmet. Thank you, my friend. Okay, good shit. Get everyone recruited and upgraded. There we are. 188 troops and 17. That's quite nice. Um, a represent whatever. And we'll see if we can upgrade any of our dudes as well. Do we lose any companions? Surely we get a big notification, a big song and dance about it if they were to die. Um, what is that? Deceitful? What does that mean? I mean, I can quite clearly see it means on a minus two. Well, how do we get it? It's probably more... More the question I'm asking here. We got a better horse armor upgrade. Oh, cool. Oh, one of the clans it just said then were destroyed. That's pretty good. Okay. So let's go ahead and junk all this other crap that we've picked up. Can I just kind of sell it all? Maybe I should check the forge first, just in case. I know that there's, there's no chance in hell we're ever going to make anything better than, than some of the weapons that we're just going to find on the battlefield. But I'm still holding out hope that one day smithing will be useful. On the plus side, I can make a new Bardiche. I'm going to do that. Uh, what do we got here? Two, 200 axe handle. There we are. So swing is 134. I mean, 134 when we cut through way more dudes. Hang on, 135 there. Uh, let's see what best part. So we got 135 with that one. Well, let's go ahead and max that out. What about, is this definitely the best axe head for swing damage? It's got to be, right? Yeah, it definitely is. There we are. 135. Was there a slight? Oh, it weirdly goes to 134 there for reasons unbeknownst to me. Okay. Perfect. There it is. The real weapon for Moon Moon. It's the biggest body issue we've ever built. Let's go ahead and forge that one. Come on, get, give us a bonus. Oh, there we are. So it's uh, it's like one point less than the axle that we've got. Fine. I'm going to call it um, uh, Moon Moons. Uh, God, what that fucking rhymes with Moon? I'm going to have to Google it. I'm sorry. Two syllables that rhyme with Moon. Shogun? <laughs> well, they tried. Okay, we're going to go for Moon Moons. Can't have apostrophes. Um, moon Moons. Saskatoon. Uh, Cameroon. Uh, pantaloon, pan pantaloon, uh, macaroon, Ma macaroon, macaroon teaspoon. And they'll, they'll say, that's not a teaspoon. I say, oh, I see you've played knifey spoon before. Brilliant. Okay. Um, you picked up a segmented two-handed grip, whatever the fuck that means. Fantastic. I'm, I'm quite impressed by that. We could forge everybody one. Uh, no, obviously they don't get such a cool name. Uh, we'll call this one. M moon, 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 moon's friends, uh, big... Fuck off knife. There we are. Uh, perfect, perfect. Let's just go ahead and craft as many of those as possible. 
Because I imagine they're probably going to outclass everything else our boys have. There we go. Everyone's got Bardishes now. Bardishes are the new wolf heads. Um, we've got a spare one there too. What happens to the ones... Hang on, hang on, hang on. One of them had the highest swing damage. But they all seem to have taken on the plus two points from the swing damage of the first one we crafted. I don't know why. Well, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and it wants me to upgrade back to that other axe. I'm going to fucking sell that axe. Disrespect on that axe. I wonder if we could just smelt it down. Hang on. <laughs> it's Lady Splitter. I forgot about that. Fucking phenomenal. Okay. Uh, how much How much money you guys got? Because I've got a lot more shit to sell. 154,000. My friends, we are going to make each other very, very rich. I don't have enough money to pay for Moon Moon's Saskatoon, Cameroon, Pantaloon, Macaroon, Teaspoon, or Moon Moon's Lady Splitter. But we'll hang on to those for the time being, because they've only got 32 gold. I forget all the 100. What am I supposed to do with gold at this point? Can I ask? What do we, What the fuck do I do at 774,000? Great. What's that random blue castle I saw? It seems to have disappeared. It was around here, right? Strath the mosque. Uh. Maybe I was just going insane. Well, that would make a lot more sense. Right, let's get in there. No more pissing around. We're going to go back to Moomin's Head Doom. We're going to let our troops heal up. We're going to make sure Moomin's Moon fully healed. We're going to buy some food. Now, we're going to buy some food from villages, because apparently if we buy it from the town center, we can literally starve them out with it, which... Okay, makes no fucking sense, but welcome to Mountain Blade. Butter! The fabled butter. There's only one left in the entire realm because they know how much Moomin's voracious appetite is. Don't sell him the butter. We're back for more. Okay, that'll do. We're only going to go away for a few days, right? Days to for eight. Is it going to take eight days to siege a castle? I don't think so. Take all about five minutes. What do we want to go for then? Should we go for Takor Castle? Uh, 67 looters right there. We might as well kill those guys just to give our guys some experience, but also because that's quite a lot of losers. Seriously? Oh, I don't want to fight him. Send troops. I wonder, will we win? What a shocker. Um, yeah, thanks. Great. 24 fucking... Ah, oh, I forgot to rant about my damn prisoners. Or put them in prison. Either way. Uh, let's go for the castle first. No, let's go for the settlement first. They got anything... No, no, let's, let's start... Start left. Work our way right. 490 defenders. Okay, never mind then. Uh, that's only got 128 plus 13. So we go there instead. Let's say they are trying to build up, build up their armies a little bit more. This one will be easy. Besiege the castle. Look, there's barely anything to it. Ugh. Shit. Well, let's lead the assault. I did want to build some weapons because somebody said that we can put like see we can like mothball siege weapons, put them in storage, something like that. Put them in reserve. I've no idea. Um, and then we can like drop them into here from later on. But anyway, we'll go for this castle now then to avoid losing another castle over the other side. It would suck to gain basically straight up trade. Well, that's a bit dangerous. They got a lot of they got a lot of arrows. Ah, oh, fuck! Get off the get off the horse! Get off the horse, please, please. Uh, fucking hell! There's a lot of them. Okay, this was a mistake. War war was a mistake. Can I lift the ladder from here? Lift. Yes, we can. Thank God. Okay. Do we want to be the first one over this ladder? No, almost certainly not. I'm gonna go lift the ladder for my boys. Give them give them a hand getting up there. Just kind of give them give them some advice. Okay, here we are. Don't shoot my fucking horse. Okay, let them go first. And we'll wait for multiple ladders to go up. Rather than the last time when we did this, I sent everybody up one ladder. And then we had a lot of issues. Right, we'll try and go up this one, I guess. Because this one seems a little bit safer. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Oh, what mistakes have I made? Jesus, help me. Help me, for God's sake. There's so many of them. Never stop, never stop. Let's kill this way first. And then we've got someone to back off to if those forces behind us come for us. Okay, here we go, here we go. Right, hack him apart. How the fuck did he survive that? Come on. Right, get in there. We've got range on our side right now. And also, this is the challenging AI. So as you can imagine, it's going to be a very difficult time. We're not just going to be able to stand there and hack away at them without them noticing anymore, okay? This is real Mountain Blade. Real Mountain Blade. A proper video game based on tactics and skill. <laughs> boys. Okay. I've hacked to their ankles long enough to let our other dudes through. We have taken a lot of unnecessary damage, though. Um, just keep thinning the numbers out. Man, this new axe is fucking fantastic. I don't know what it is about this one, but it feels just just, just incredible. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so this one's basically in the bag then, right? Are we good? Fucking die. Uh, oh, there's another one. Good God, I feel like we can't thin him out fast enough. Fuck off. Leave him alone. Oh, there's barely any of them left. I've just noticed the bars. Ah, do not kill him. Do not kill him. We're, we're so close to being done with this damn castle. Get the fuck out of here. The only issue with it is we need distance. So if there's any indoor battles at all, we're gonna be in a we're gonna be in a very difficult situation. That's it. There's like one straggler that's probably glitched through the terrain somewhere. Oh, is he up? Is he up there? Let Moon Moon have the last kill. Where is he? 
Oh, he's not. Look, they're all crowding over here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Advanced AI. Challenging difficulty. I hate this game. Look at it. For fuck's sake. What are they doing? What's going on? Has someone fallen between the... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Has someone fallen between the, uh... The gates again? Go and open it up. Hang on. I thought I could open it up, but apparently not. Uh, I'm just gonna hack it apart in that case. We do have so much more damage to the gate now. Look at this. Is there someone in there? Hello? It's Moon Moon here for your, if you're Avon delivery. Anyone? There is. There's a fucking dude in there. Look, you can see him. Oh, you're so screwed. The second I get this... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. First person. Please apologize. I apologize for the vomit up front. How did that not kill him? Are we good? Are we... Are we good? There's another dude. What? Oh, someone else got him. Shot him through the crack in the door. Incredible work, team. Incredible work. Another castle for Moon Moon. Very nice. Very nice. A little bit of progress, but more importantly, we are on. Definitely not Scandinavia proper now. There's three summons left. We'll take this one, then this one, and then I guess we'll go all the way down to Sibia. And then we've, we've got a very weird borders, I will admit. We've got some horrible borders, but it gives us the foundation of a glorious empire. That's going to be, what, six settlements? Oh, wow, man, someone's done a lot of conquest. The Western Empire's conquest a lot. I thought it was supposed to be a Northern Empire and a Western Empire and a Southern Empire. There's barely any Southern Empire left at this stage. Okay, um, so I guess after that, we could probably go to war against these guys, the slightly lighter purple guys. God, this is going to be difficult. And that's assuming we live that long. But today, I was a bit more cautious, and I think it paid off. Thank you all for watching. Apologies if these aren't going to be funny, haha, <laughs> epic meme about zooming in on Moon Moon's face as I say something funny. Because we're in hardcore. We're in, we're in hardcore Mountain Blade territory now. So I have to be a professional video game player. As is what I have told my, my banker. Thank you to Insane Top Tier Level Patrons for making this series possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Skaz, Caden Carter, Justin Rules, Darfork, Vacuous Backus, My Name Isn't Dio, Silt One, Paul, Zetlock, Jonah Waters, Odie, Bubka, Sloppy Nips, Layla, Dante Mordecane, Huey Longdon, Bacon Kitten, Scary Scurvy and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. Big thanks to these guys. Without them, we would not be here. Moon Moon would never have existed. And I thank you as well to Monty, Demon X Jester, Emerald Bean, Proximity Jones, Danny, Mason Fireblast, Don, Better Valerian, Dranmere, Outermostly, Astro, Demon, Nick, Magister Militant, and Tempe for their support as well. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And see you all for the next Adventures of Moon Moon, whenever the hell that is.